Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Lashana, how you doing, honey? How are you? Blessings. Blessings. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Come on in, share the broadcast. You guys know how we do this. Good morning. So good to see you, Shana. Good morning, Candice. Good morning, Denise. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Miss Thomas. Good morning, John. Good morning, Neeks. Good morning, good morning. Jolene, good morning. Bless like that. Good morning. Miss Watson, come on in, come on in, people. Miss Rita Lee, how are you doing, woman of God? Vanessa Brown, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. <sighs> Is it still morning? Because I just got up. Good morning, good morning, Garnett, how are you? I just I just got up. I didn't get to, to, to sleep until about 7 o'clock this morning. Prophet Leo, how are you doing? If you can, man of God, I would like for you to stay on this live. I can need your prayers. <laughs> if you can, if you're not busy. Busy. Apostle Jacob Bain, how are you, man of God, great man of God? Blessings to all of you, blessings to, to all of you. Come on in, you know how we do this. Once you come on in, share the broadcast and type share at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead, tell me where you're watching from. Um, actually, I, I didn't get to bed until 7 a.m. this morning. I was troubled in my spirit and I just couldn't sleep. Um, after I came from work about um, after 12, I just could not go to sleep. And so, hey, Yvette, how are you? Come on in, people of God. I can need y'all to pray for me, man. Um, Cedric, are you here? I can need you to pray for me. Come on. Miss Evans, pray for me. Miss Yvette, pray for me. Um, Prophet Leo, pray for me. Apostle Bean, pray for me. <laughs> I need y'all prayers in this season, man. Blessings to all of y'all. I know Prophet Leo always got me. You always got me. I know Prophetess Rochelle always got me. You know, I know they got me. <laughs> Say, watch it from Michael Road Police Station. You be safe, baby girl. You be safe. You be safe. You know, my prayers are always with you. My prayers is always with you. So listen, I want to address a few things. Um, just for fun, let's go into a word of prayer first before we go into everything. Thank you, um, um, Pastor Ellis. Um, let's go into prayer. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor for all that you've done and all that you are about to do. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you will use me, Father God, as the servant that I am, as the vessel that I am. Speak to your people, Father, like never yet before. I pray, O oh God, that everything I've said and done that is not of you, that you will forgive me. I repent before you, Father God, even now as you are about to use me, Father God, so that everything that you say, Father God, be unfiltered, unadulterated, Father God, and uncontaminated. And so, God, thank you for forgiving me of my sins, washing me and cleansing me and purifying me. Thank you, Father God, for separating me for consecrating me unto you and so father let marvel lewis decrease as you increase today father i pray that the heirs of the people that would hear this father god that they would take this and that they would run with this father god now that you are doing a new thing in the earth let them see your glory father in the name of yeshua we pray hallelujah 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 Thank you, Yvette. Listen, so uh, um, there's a few things that I want to speak about. I have three things I want to adjust, and then I have a word from the Lord that I want to give to you right quick. Amen? Uh, I have a word from the Lord that I want to give to you right quick. I just woke up, and I was spoken to, speaking to one of my new friends um, um, in the States, you know? I was speaking to one of my new friends, and as we began to speak, the Lord sowed something in my spirit, and, I, and, 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 and he said, come and give it quickly. He said, just as quick as I give it to you, share it with my people, because the word of the Lord is not taking um, um, any time or it's not taking long and so he says just as quick as I give it to you he says go and give it to my people and for many of you you probably have already had the revelation God is speaking to your spirit um, I won't be fooled to think and never was to think that God is only speaking to one set of people. He's speaking to many. And so um, 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 I want to give you what the Lord has been saying to me. Hey Carnetta, how are you doing darling? Good to see you. <clears throat> I just want to give you what it is that Lord has been speaking into my spirit. First of all, um, just for fun. I posted something last night while I was at work. Um, just for fun, man. Just to lighten up our spirits because we've been going through so much for the past couple of days, the past couple of weeks. Um, even in the Bahamas, even throughout the world, we've been going through so much. And so I say, you know what? Let's just do a challenge. Everybody's doing these challenges and some of them just don't make no sense. And so I say, you know what? Let's do a good, clean challenge. And in this challenge, I said to you... Um, um, 
post a picture of a frontline worker. A frontline worker will be a stalker, a police officer, a nurse, a defense force officer, a doctor, um, a janitress, somebody who can't go home um, 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 right now, but they are working. I, I uh, post a picture of a frontline worker. Amen. With a short little prayer with the hashtag, thank you for your service. Hashtag, somebody put it down on in the comment section for me. Hashtag, thank you for your service. And hashtag, hey, Prophetess Esther. And hashtag, walking into destiny. And I said in the post, please tag me in it so that I may be able to see your post. So at, of the, at the end of the day, I will be able to do a short video, including all of these service men and women, the, the janitress, the store clerks, the, the, the packing boys, the packing girls, and, 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 and the nurses, the doctors, the, the people that are, you know, working, the ones that can't go home while everybody else are home. And so I said, tag this, this challenge, we're going, you tag me to it so that I may be able to see it, so that at the end of, um, probably another week or so i will take all of those pictures and i will do a short video or i will do a video where we're thanking as a tribute to all of the hard-working police officers defense force officers immigration officers um custom officers um road traffic officers doctors uh police officers um um um, um uh nurses Healthcare providers, these people that cannot go home. And so please, please, please follow the instructions. Please, as you post your short prayer, tag me, uh, tag my page along. Uh, you can either tag Marvel Lewis or you can tag Walking Into Destiny Live, the page. And the hashtag is thank you for your service, Walking Into Destiny. And a short prayer, if you wish, or if you want to, you can tag a short prayer. So let's get join in the fun as we pray for our frontline workers. Amen. Join in the fun. And, and man, let's do the challenge. Every time somebody, um, a star, shoot a challenge, we do it and we follow it with no, we don't even think twice. But because it's just a no-name behemoth girl, everybody be like, you nobody got time for that. Listen, Post your workers, them. They come from you, you know. They come from your community. They are your sons, your daughters, your mother, your fathers. They are your brothers, your sisters. They are your niece, your nephews, your cousins, your aunties, your uncles. They are the ones that are at work while you're at home. And so blessings. Let's keep it fun. Let's keep it clean. Like I said, the hashtag is thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Um, another announcement I want to make. A lot of people have been messaging me. Man, listen, I've been getting so much mess messages from Messenger and from WhatsApp. A lot of people are messaging me and they are saying that, hey, I know that you are the woman of God that prophesied, you know, the situation, the hurricane before it came. And, I, and I'm careful to say to people, no, I wasn't the one that prophesied. I was the one that released, you know, the word of the Lord. God, but the, the message did not come from me. It came straight from the throne of God. I was only the vessel to be used to warn the people of God. I am not um, 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 a God. I am not, you know, baby Jesus. I'm just, you know, the one that just happened to be used among many, among many. I was not the only one among many. You know, Prophet Leo was doing the same thing. Uh, 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 Prophetess Patrice Smith was doing the same thing. Um, uh, 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 Minister Jacqueline was doing the same thing. Minister um, um, uh, uh, Kevin Ewing was doing the same thing. Prophetess Rochelle was doing the same thing. So many people was doing the exact same thing. Apostle Sandra Smith was doing the same thing. People was giving the warning. And so it just happened that, you know, I, I, I God, God used me as a vessel to give that warning to the people of, you know, the world, not just Abaco and not just Grand Bahama, but the people of the world. Amen. And so, so, um, yes, I was the one that did that video, but however, there is a voice note that is going around and people have been messaging me and they've been, um, sending it, sending it around and saying that it is prophetess Marvel Lewis. Listen. On that voice note, I believe it's about 24 um, minutes and 24 seconds. That is not me. I cannot take credit for something that I've not said and I did not do. That is the great and well-respected prophetess Patrice 
Smith. She resides in Nassau. I, I am not sure the name of her church, but she is a great woman of God, great prophetess, and she resides in Nassau. She is the one that spoke on that voice note. Amen. I listened to it when somebody first sent it to me, but lately it's like this week, people have been sending it to me, sending it to me, sending it to me, and saying that it's prophetess Marva Lewis, the same woman that prophesied, you know, the thing, the hurricanes. No, it is not me. It is prophetess Patrice Smith on that um, um, um voice note. Amen. The Lord did deals with her very powerfully. The Lord deals with her when it comes to, to, to numbers. The Lord deals with her in that way. I've been um, a, a, a fan. I've been um, a person that listen, a person that learn and whatever I can grasp um, um, from the woman of God, I take it in. Amen. The true mouthpiece and the true prophets of this day. Amen. And you got to understand who are the true voices of this season and of this day um, um, in this time now? You got to recognize uh, the true voices. And so that is one of the uh, true voices, voices, I believe, you know, in this season that is speaking to the body of Christ. And so that voice note is not Mava. It is not me. It is the, the, the woman of God, Patrice, prophetess uh, Patrice uh, Smith. Amen. And so blessings to all of you. Thank you for um, contacting me. Thank you for messaging me. And, and for many of you that are praying for me. Hey, Apostle Sandra Smith just mentioned your name. And so it was not me. It is Apostle, um, it is Prophetess, sorry about that, uh, Patrice Smith on that um, voice note. Like I said, the Lord deals with her very um, strongly and prophetically um, in the area of numbers. She has a great wealth of knowledge. She's been in this thing um, uh, for years. She's seasoned in this thing and, 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 and she's been doing this thing. She knows the voice of God and so she speaks as a prophetic voice, as a, as a, as a, as a, a, a seasoned prophetic voice in this season. And so people of God, that is um, um, prophetess Patrice that is on that voice note and not me. Amen. And so blessings to all of you. May the Lord continue to bless her. May the Lord continue to protect her as she go forth as a true tr um, prophetic voice in this season. And we come against retaliation and backlash against the woman of God. And so um, people of God, let's get to it. Let's get to what it is that the Lord has been saying to me. As you see, I believe I have um, the great separation on on the um, in the um, description box, I believe I have the great separation. But what I want to talk to you a little bit, let me um, turn off this music for a bit. Um, what I want to talk to you, um, f um, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, the great separation or the wheat and the tear. So many of us, we know the story. Come on, share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Start a live um, 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 watch party. Um, some people will need this. Some people need to hear this. Some people need this in their spirit today. It will serve as an encouragement to them. A lot of um, doctors, a lot of nurses that can't go home, man, listen, tag them in this message. Amen. Tag them in this message. We appreciate them. But I just want to give you what the Lord has given me as I woke up um, um, a few minutes ago. I just want to give you what it is the Lord has given me. Amen the wheat and the tear. The Lord began to share with me this revelation. He said, come on and share it with my people. And so I want to speak to you a little bit about the parable of the wheat and the tears. And I want to read um, um, from Matthew chapter 13. Amen. Matthew chapter 13, 13. And I'm going to read from verses uh, 24 uh, to, I don't think I'm going to read from verses 24 I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to probably go until uh, verses 30. Amen. Uh, verses 30. And so come on, share the broadcast. Let me know where you're watching from. Start a, 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 a watch party. Blessings to all of you. Hey, Madeline, how you doing? Blessings to you. The parable of the wheat and the tares. Man, listen, when you hear this revelation, this will blow your mind. Verses 24 of Matthew chapter 13. And it says, And another parable he put forth to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed a, um, um, good seed in his field. Verse 25 goes on to say, But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. And went his way, verses uh, 26. But when the grain had sprouted and produced crop, then the tares also appeared, verses 27. So the servants of the uh, of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seeds in your field? How then does it, does it have tares? Verses 28. He said to them, an enemy has done this. Come on, somebody. An enemy has done this. 
Let me go up. An enemy has done this. The servant said to him, do you want us then to go and gather them? Verses 29. But he said to them, no. Uh-uh, come on, don't don't you go and bother with the, with, with the tares. No less while you gather up the tares, you also uproot the wheat with them. Verses 30 and the last verse. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of the harvest, I will say to the, to the reapers, first gather together the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Come on, somebody. I need you to get this today. Come on, share this with somebody and start a live feed. Blessings to you watching from Orlando. Blessings to you watching from Nicholas Town, Andres. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Would the Lord begin to speak to me? He says, listen, in this season, come on, I got to give you what the Lord has given me. Let me, let me put this right here, my little notes right in the front of me. I wonder if I could put this phone down for a moment. Ah, yes, that's good. Just for a moment. Yes, yes, yes. The Lord began to speak to me, and, and when he, once he began to speak to me, he says, uh, 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 this is what I'm about to do. He says, there's going to be, he says, I'm going to cause my people. Listen to this prophetic word now. He says, I'm going to cause my people, come on, my true mouth pieces and my true servants, come on. I'm hearing the word of the Lord. I'm hearing the voice of the Lord even as I speak to you. So if I pause a little bit, uh, don't worry about me. I'm just hearing the word of the Lord. I'm just hearing the Lord speaking to me. And so the Lord began to speak to me. Yes, Ab, I hear you. And, and, and he says, I'm going to cause my people, my true mouthpieces and my true um, servants, my true prophets. He says, I'm going to cause them to come forth in this season. He also said, and I'm going to, uh, I'm about to show forth my glory in the earth. The Lord says in this season, come on, in this season, he says, I'm going to cause there to be a great separation. I'm going to cause there to be a great rift. I'm going to cause there to be, come on, where I'm going to cause my people, my mouthpieces, my servants, my true um, 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 vessel. I'm going to cause them to come forth in this season. And the Lord says, begin to speak to me. And he says, hey, Estelle, how are you? He says, not only will I cause them to come forth in this season, he says, I'm now going to show forth my glory in the earth like never yet before. And so for many of us, uh, 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 we've been saying, why is the church closing and why we allow the church doors to close and why is this happening? Not understanding that this is a plan of the living God. The enemy caused this thing in order to, cre to create chaos, in order to create a havoc. But God says what the enemy intended for bad and what the enemy intended to create a chaos, God says, I'm going to create a perfect storm. My God, I tell you, I was hearing from the Lord. And he says, I'm going to cause it now to create a, 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 the chaos to become a perfect storm. I hear the Lord saying. And he says, in this season, come on, there's about to be a great separation. He says, in this season, he says, for many, um, um he says, for I am the great servant. Come on, according to Matthew thir um, um, 13, he says, I am the great shepherd. He says, I am the, 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 the one now that has the seed, the true seed. And he says now that the seed has been planted. He says now that I've released my word. He says I've released my word. He says but there are some, come on, there are some that caused my word to fall now on stony grounds. He says some had a stony heart and they did not receive the word. He says that some, some of them had hearts of flesh. And so when the word, when the seed was planted, it took root. And he said listen, listen, listen people of God. He says I'm going to now cause a uh, are there to be a great separation. And so we got to understand now that for, for so long we've been crying for a separation. We've been crying for great exposure. We've been crying for there to be a separation in the body of Christ. We've been crying for there to be the true sons and the true daughters of God to come forth. But the Lord said that, listen, in past season or past, or, or past times, he says, I couldn't cause them to come and be separated. He says, even though I consecrated them unto me. And even though I had them in the backside of the desert, I hear the Lord speaking to me. He says, even though I hid them for a season, God says, I could not separate you from them. He says, the reason why I was not separating you from them, he says, why 
He says, I wanted you to grow and to see. He says, I wanted you to be in a position to see. He says, I wanted you to see how the tears look just like the wheat. He says, I wanted you to see how they dress and how they sound and how they look like me and how they sound like me and how they walk like me. He says, but in this season, now that I've hidden you for a little time, now that I had you in the desert, now that I had you at the back of the line, he says, now, he says, after uh, the shaking, he says, after a little while, he says, now I'm going to cause there to be a great shaking. He says, now I'm going to cause there to be a great separation. He says, now I'm going to cause there, come on, to be a great breaking forth. Uh, and the Lord began to speak to me this morning. And he says uh, that this is my plan. He says, listen, I'm going to use this to be as in a great, come on, a, 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 a prison break. You're going to see people of God being released and raised up like never yet before. You're going to see prophetic mantles falling like never yet before. I posted something on Facebook where I said, you're about to see a lot of Facebook ministries and listen, get over it. You need to just get over it because what the Lord is doing in this season is he's raising up great prophetic mantles, great prophetic voices in this season. And if you don't have the discernment, if you don't have the spirit of the living God in order for you to differentiate, in order for you to be able to discern who is of God and who is not of God, then baby, I'm so sorry sorry, but you will be yet, you will be left behind in this season. And so the, the word of the Lord says, let the wheat and the tear grow together. Yes, on Facebook, the wheat and the tear will grow together. Yes, in the churches, the wheat and the tear has been grown, growing together. But I hear the Lord says in this season, in this prophetic time, and in this prophetic climate, he says, I had to cause there to be a great shaking in order now for there to be a harvest. And now that the harvest is at hand, he says, behold, I am about to do a new thing. He says, I'm about to bring the church out of the church. He says, I'm about to separate the true voices from those that was being uh, in the churches and covering and hushing the mouths of the true prophets and trying to silence the true the, 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 the new prophets. And he says, because they look like and because they sound like uh, we've been manipulated and fooled uh, and we've been thinking that they were sent by me. But I hear the Lord says they were not sent by by me and they have been corrupted and therefore they have been corrupting the body of Christ and the Lord says I am sick and I am tired of the corruption I am sick and I am tired of the scent that has come up to me because the scent has been contaminated and he says for too long the scent has been coming up to me in my nostril as a, 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 a filthy scent and he said now there is going to be a great harvest where I'm going to call the wheat and the tear to be separated. My God, yes, you were in the field and yes, you've been working in the vineyard and yes, you've been alongside them and yes, you've been uh, 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 persecuted. Amen. And they laughed at you and they talk about you and, 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 and they mocked you and they mocked the word of God and, and they said that you will amount to nothing and, and they laugh at you and they said that you're not a true servant and, and they said, who are you to be called a pastor? And who do you think you are to be called a prophet? And who do you think you are to be speaking on behalf of God? As if they are the only one that was giving the prophetic mantle. As if they were the only one that was supposed to be used for God. As if they have the monopoly on God. But what God is saying in this season, I've allowed them to speak for a season. I've allowed them to minister just for a season. I've allowed them to grow just for a season. And I hear the Lord says, I'm about to open the eyes of the church. I'm about to set my people free. Where your eyes is about to open in the spiritual realm. Where you're about to tell the difference. Where you're about to see. Come on somebody. Where you're about to see the wheat from the tail. Ah, come on somebody, you got to get this in your spirit today. Come on, share this broadcast if you have not as yet. I'm going to cause there to be a separation. Hey, Betty, how you doing? Between the goats and the sheep. Come on. You are about to see the pigs uh, and you're about to see the sheep. Uh, you are about to see the pigs and you're about to see the good. Uh, you are about to see the good and you're about to see the bad. You're about to see the true and you're about to see the fake. Uh, I hear the Lord says there's going to be a great exposure. Come on. There's going to be a great falling away. But I hear the Lord says faint not uh, and think that do not think that it is a negative thing when you see this great falling away. But I hear the Lord says my hand is in it. 
For I hear the Lord says, my hand is in it. Because I'm going to cause there to be a great falling away. Why? Because we're going to see the, 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 because there's been a mass incarceration. And I hear the Lord says, I'm going because there's been a mass incarceration, manipulation of my people. I'm now going to cause there to be a mass prison break. Come on, somebody, you got to get this in your spirit today. Because there's been a mass incarceration, mass manipulation manipulation of my people and of my true prophets and of my true sermons and my vessel. I hear the Lord says, I'm going to cause there to be, come on somebody, a great prison break all around the world. There's going to be the greatest, the biggest prison break you have ever seen. And God says, now I'm releasing my prophetic voice in the earth. I'm releasing my true sons and daughters. And for a season, the wheat and the tear, they grew together. For a season, they grew together. But I hear the Lord saying that this is the season not only of manifestation, but this is the season of harvest. My God, somebody, you got to get this in your spirit today. This is the season that us, the true sons of God, has been crying for. This is the season that the, the earth has been groaning and crying for. Come on, somebody. You got to recognize the shift that is taking place in the earth today. You got to recognize the shaking that is happening even in your spirit. You got to recognize the groaning that has been happening even in the earth. You got to recognize the blood of your sisters and your brothers that has been crying from the earth. Come on. You you got to recognize the voice of God that has been speaking even in the earth even now. And the Lord says, I'm going to cause my true sons and daughters to come forth in this season. And the Lord began to speak to me and he began to say, he says, my Father, let them know that their sons and their daughters will begin to prophesy. He says that their sons and their daughters will begin to prophesy. That their sons and their daughters will begin to dream dreams. Uh, and they will begin to see visions. Uh, he says, and I will cause your old men uh, to see visions. Uh, and he says, I will cause them now to bring forth the revelations uh, that was locked up on the inside uh, for so long. Uh, I hear the Lord says, old man, I call you because you're full of wisdom. I hear the Lord says, now I am releasing you. Ah, uh, come on, old man. Come on, old man. I am now releasing you with a new revelation in order now for you to bring out a set of people. In order now for you to bring out this generation. I hear the Lord is saying now, come for many of you. You are going to be like Moses uh, that delivered and set free and bring out uh, the Israelites out of Egypt. But I hear the Lord says, do not allow the faces of the people to cause you uh, to miss out on your promised land. I hear the Lord says to set your face like flint. People of God, come on. I'm speaking to the pastors. I'm speaking to the apostles. I'm speaking to the to, 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 to the ministers. I'm speaking to the prophets and the prophetess. Come on. Set your face like flint. As God used you as a vessel. To set free and to deliver, to bring out a set of people out of out of uh ah uh, come on I'm hearing the word Goshen I'm not sure what that means ah uh, somebody could let me know but I hear I hear Goshen to bring them out of Goshen to bring them out of Goshen ah uh, to bring them out of Egypt. But hear this, man of God, woman of God, somebody come and share this broadcast. But hear this, do not allow the faces of the people. Do not allow the people to cause you to miss out on your promised land. And so God says, I'm about to use the prophetic voices. Those that I've been hiding in the back. Those that have hid for a season. Those that are not afraid to speak when I say speak. Those that are not afraid to say what I told them to say. Those that are not afraid to say what thus says the Lord. And so the Lord says, I'm going to raise up great prophetic voices, great prophetic, prophetic voices. Your sons and your daughters, they shall prophesy. I hear the Lord. Your sons and your daughters, they shall prophesy. But I hear the Lord says, like the wheat and the tear, beware that as I raise up great prophetic mantles, 
And as I raise a great prophetic voice in this season of harvest, I hear the Lord say, be aware, come on, of the false prophets and the false voices that will try to manipulate and try to take you back into prison and try to take you back into bondage. My God, I, I hear you, Holy Spirit. And I hear the Lord says, Pharaoh, Ah, come on, is at the other side of the Red Sea. Come on, somebody get this in your spirit. I hear the Lord speaking to me even now. He says, behold, Pharaoh is standing at the other side. Uh, and behold, the Israelites, the Bohemians are standing in the middle of the sea. And I hear the Lord says, follow your Moses to the other side. Follow your Moses to the other side. I hear the Lord says, follow your Moses to the other side. I hear the Lord says, even as you follow your Moses to the other side, I will cause you to get to the other end. And as you get to the other end, you will turn back and you will watch the enemies that you have seen yesterday. Come on. The enemies that begin to torture. The enemies that persecute, persecuted. The enemies that are coming after you. I hear the Lord say, turn back and watch and see the Egyptians that you saw yesterday. You shall see them no more. For I am about to call them to drown in the Red Sea. Come on. I am about to cause your Pharaoh to be hushed. I am about to cause Pharaoh to be silent. I am about to shut Pharaoh up in the Red Sea. Who am I speaking to right now in this season? Behold, follow your Moseses. Follow your true voices in this season. For many of you, God has broken, God break you out of prison. And some of them, like Paul and Silas, when they walk out of the prison, and the prisoner, the guard, he went to check the prison to see if the prisoners were still there. And when he did not see them, he began to cry out, oh my God, my life. And he sought to kill himself because he knew that death was going to come. For causing the prisoners to be released, for causing the for uh, for for for, for the uh, 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 prisoners to escape lawful custody, it was going to cost him his life, and so he stood there and he was about to take his life. But Paul says, "No, nay, do not take your life, for we are all here." And I hear the Lord says, "You are in custody, and if you would just raise a praise, and if you would just make some noise in that place." God says, I will cause you to come out of your incarceration. Incarceration. I will cause those prison doors to be open like I did for my son, like I did for my servant. He says, I am about to do the same thing for you. And so that situation that you are walking in and that thing that you are facing now that has you feeling like you're incarcerated, like you can't move, like you can't go to the left or the right, like you can't go up or down. It seems as if you take a step further and there's always a roadblock. There's always a wall. I hear the Lord says, as you begin to praise and as you begin to worship, he says, I'm about to cause the prison doors to sling for to fling wide open. I'm about to set my people free. I'm about to cause you to be. Ah, come on. I'm about to cause you to be set free. Every limitation that has been set upon you. Ah, those voices of negativity that's been spoken uh, over your life and over your children. Come on, ah, come on, God. I hear you, Lord. Ah, uh, he says, I'm going to cause you to break free. Ah, come on, somebody. I'm going to cause you to mount up like eagles and fly. Come on, somebody. Who am I speaking to today? And so the Lord says, I'm going to cause there to be a great separation. Where I'm going to cause now the wheat and the tear to be separated. Come on. You will know in this season who is of God and you will know in this season who isn't of God. You will know those that will stand under persecution and under fire. And you will know those that cannot stand. Their speech will betray them. Ah, come on. They will speak on themselves. They will begin to talk on themselves. Their speech will betray them in this season.
I hear the Lord says, listen to my true voices and listen to them closely. They are speaking one word. They are speaking one word. I hear the Lord says, no longer will there be two and three and four and five voices. He says, there will be one sound that will leave the thrones. There will be one sound that will leave the heavens. There will be one sound that will come to the ears of the prophets. I hear the Lord says, I shall not do anything in the earth lest I gather yet yeah, lest I bring it uh, lest I speak to 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 my prophets uh, come on he says lest I speak to my prophets uh, I will cause them to gather in the season I will bring this harvest uh, and I will bring the wheat together and he says now my two sons and my daughters will come forth uh, and he says nothing in the earth will be done lest I speak to the prophets ah uh, uh, come on somebody ah uh, uh, there will be one sound from heaven one sound from heaven, I hear the Lord says, Ah, God, I hear you, Holy Spirit. He says, This is why I give you the name the gathering. Ah, Holy Spirit, somebody, I just feel like screaming right now. My God, they think I've gone crazy. I just feel like screaming. Come on. You ever receive the revelation and it just blow your mind? The Lord says that is the reason why the conference is called the gathering. He says, because there will be a shaking in the earth. Woo! Woo! Because there will be a shaking in the earth. Because I am causing some things to come loose. Because there is a pressing and a shaking. He says, listen, now I am gathering my people. Now I am gathering the true voices uh, all together in one place. Uh, and he says, like the day of Pentecost, when they gathered in one room and in one place, in the upper room, in one accord. He says, I'm going to cause the remnant to remnant. I'm going to cause the true voices. I'm going to cause them to gather. Come on together. Woo! That's the reason why I told you to have the conference in the nation that will be hit and affected Nassau, Bahamas. After a shaking, after yet but a little while, I will cause there to be a great revival. I will cause there to be a great coming together. I will cause there to be, come on somebody, I will cause there to be a great gathering that will issue forth, that will birth forth the revival of, ah, uh, come on, that will issue forth the birth or the return of Yeshua the Messiah. And so people of God, I've given you what the Lord has given me. The Lord says, this is the reason why I told you to go to Nassau. My God, my God, my God. I usually do my conference every year in Grand Bahama because Grand Bahama is my home. But the Lord said, this is the reason why I told you to call it the gathering. Walking into destiny, the gathering. Because I'm about to gather my people. I'm about to cause them all to gather in the upper room. My God. I'm about to cause them to gather in the upper room. And I'm about to put, to release, come on, like in the word of God where you saw, uh, uh, the people saw them and they thought that they were crazy. These people got to be drinking. It's too early, man. Come on. It early for your, it, it's too early for y'all to be drunk. And the people thought that they were drunk. And the man of God came and said, no, uh-uh, nay. They are not drunk. But they are filled with the Holy Spirit. They will say that you are drunk. That you lost your mind. That you just about lost it. Mm -hmm. That's what they will say. But the Lord said, it is my plan. After the great shaking. After a little while. I will separate the wheat and the tear. And I will cause there to be a great harvest. And I will cause you to gather in the upper room. Where the spirit of the living God will fall upon you. Where you will be baptized by fire. Come on somebody. Where you will be baptized by fire. And then release to go in to all of the world. And preach this end time revival. Come on somebody. This end time message. This end time revival will bring forth all around the world. This is what God is showing me. 
This is what he's showing me even now. He's showing me the, the earth. My spirit is hovering over the earth. Shut up. Come on, somebody. I need you to share this broadcast. Because I need as much people to hear this as possible. Hey God, I hear you. Prophet Benjamin Smith, man of God, great man of God, welcome. Good to see you on the live feed. I hear the Lord. As my spirits begin to hover over the earth. I'm seeing cracks in the earth. I'm seeing cracks in the earth. And I'm seeing like cloves of fire being released all around the earth. I'm seeing like cloves of fire, even as my spirit hover above the earth. I'm seeing cloves of fire released out of the earth. It is coming from the belly of the earth. Ah, God. Mm-mm. Jesus. I'm seeing cloves of fire coming out of the cracks of the earth. And I hear the Lord says, I will cause my people, I will cause my prophetic voices to be heard all around the earth. And the clothes of fire that you are seeing are those that has been rebaptized with the fire and the all-consuming fire of my spirit. And I hear the Lord says, when they release a word, it shall be like fire shut up in their bones. And I hear the Lord says, there will be a great revival in the earth. Uh, I hear the Lord. I hear the Lord. And I'm seeing this. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing fire. Oh God, help me to explain this to your people, God. I'm seeing fire. I'm seeing fire. I'm seeing clothes of fire. Mm. The Lord says, say it like this, like the clothes of fire that were seen above the heads of the people that gathered in the upper room. God says, the clothes of fire that you are seeing, my daughter, he says, these are the kataman nebosha, tamaman nebosha, is my spirit, re kataman nebosha, being released on the earth as I promised, re kataman nebosha, I hear you God, and I will cause your daughters to erupt, I will cause your sons to erupt, I will cause your old men to erupt, I will cause my true prophets to erupt. Erupt uh, with the fire, with the prophetic voice of the living God. No longer will they compromise. My voice. No longer will there be a compromise of my voice, says the Spirit of the living God. For I'm about to uproot. I hear you, Abba. I'm about to uproot that evil altar. And I'm seeing this huge, huge, huge altar. And I'm seeing like a beast sitting on this altar. It's almost like a, a chair made of gold. Man, hear me, hear me in the spirit and hear me well. It's almost like a, 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 a chair. And it is a huge chair, but this chair is an altar. And I see this beast sitting on this altar. And it is switching. One minute, it looked like a dragon. And the next minute, it looks like a snake. Ah, God. I hear you, Abba. I hear, I see, I see in the spiritual realm, this huge altar where this beast is sitting on and it is shifting one minute it looks like a dragon and the next minute it looks like a snake and it is sitting on this huge altar this huge big chair and I hear the Lord says I see this huge ball of fire coming from the heavens ah God I hear you I hear you I hear you ah oh, Jesus mm. Mm. I see this huge ball of fire coming from the heaven. And I hear the Lord says, I will destroy the beast and I will destroy the serpent. Somebody come on and pray for me. Somebody come on and pray for me. Somebody come on and pray for me. I hear the Lord says, I will cause the beast to fall and I will cause the serpent to fall. I hear the Lord says, I will cause them to fall. I will cause them to fall. Somebody come on and help me pray. Somebody come on and help me pray. I'm seeing this altar. I'm seeing that 
being consumed by fire. Rikata mande boshata. And I hear the Lord says, I will cut, I will cut it short. I will cut it down. I will uproot the altar. Rikata mande boshata. Of the wicked beast and of that wicked serpent. Rukoto mande boshata. Ah, God, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. People of God, if you never heard anything else that I've said, if you never pay attention, if you've never shared a video, share this. Share this. I see. Oh, God. I, I don't know if I could do this, Lord. I don't know if I could do this. Mm. I don't know if I could do this. 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 Ah, Holy Spirit, I need strength. I need strength. Mm -mm. I need strength. I need strength. As I'm seeing this altar being destroyed, I see seven nations. Oh God. I'm seeing seven nations. I'm seeing the names, but I will not release them. I'm seeing seven nations and I hear the Lord saying I will cause them to fall. I'm, I'm seeing seven nations coming out of this ball of fire that God is using to destroy this altar where this beast and the serpent is sitting on. And I see seven nations and I hear the Lord says I will destroy and I will cause them to fall. I will cause them to fall in this season for too long. You've caused my people to go a whoring. You've rearranged my laws. You've caused my people to be re re wayward. And I hear the Lord says, I will shut down your voices and your agendas. I will cause fire to only consume. Ah, I see some labs. I see some countries, some nations uh, about to catch on fire. I hear the Lord says, uh, it is my doing because I'm about to destroy their plans uh, and their agendas. I see some labs uh, full of computers uh, and I hear the Lord says, I'm about to destroy some software. Oh God. Mm. Woo. Jesus. Mm. Your, listen. Mm -mm. Holy Spirit, what is this to take? I feel the fire of the living God, people of God. I don't think the spirit of the Lord has ever dealt with me like this before. I'm to the point where I am shaken. I'm to the point where Jesus. If you know the true words of prayer. This is the time to pray for your true prophets. This is the time to pray for the true prophets. We will come under fire. We will come under fire. And I hear the Lord said, are you willing to lay your life down for me? I hear the Lord said, ask them, are they willing to lay their lives down for me? You will be persecuted. You will be killed. The true voices I've released in this season. I'm also releasing the spirit of boldness. People will be shocked. People will be afraid of the words that will be spoken from the true men and women of God. And they will seek to kill. They will seek to slaughter. They will seek to silence. The voice of God. But I hear God says, suffer it to be so. Some lives will be lost. Suffer it to be so. I hear the Lord say, they may take this body. They may cut down this body. But you will enter into my rest. You will enter into my rest. 
Are you willing to lay your life down for me? There's going to be great persecution because the word of God is going to come so sharp. They will be afraid. Presidents will be afraid. Prime ministers, governors, government, they will be afraid. They'll be threatened and afraid. And they will silence. They will seek to silence the voice of God. But I hear the Lord says to ask you, are you willing to lay your life down? Are you willing to lay your life down? Pastor, prophet, prophetess, bishop, reverend, deacon, members, sisters, brothers, apostle. Are you really, really willing Thank you, Apostle Bean. Are you really willing to lay your life down? Some of us, we done made up in our minds. As of for me, I'm already a dead person. I'm already dead. This flesh has already died. To be in this position, to be a prophet, this you die daily. So I care nothing about this. I care nothing about this flesh. This crucified die daily. I'm already dead. In order to be a true prophet of the living God, you're walking dead because you die daily. But are you willing, truly willing, to lay your life down? When they put a choice between before you and they say, choose your God or choose this, what will you choose? For many of us, we think that they will come at us with a gun, with a knife, with a cutlass. And of, of course, it's happening in some parts of the world. But in the modern world, modern world, listen to me, people of God. In the modern world, they ain't coming to you with a gun or a knife. They can come to you with food. They can come to you with money. Make a choice. It's either your God or this. Make a choice. With you, you, you want to choose. You want to feed your family. Make a choice. And for many of us, we won't make it. We won't make it. We won't make it. I've given you the word of the living God. People, perilous times. Perilous times. But fear not. I speak to the righteous. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. I speak to the righteous. Fear not. Do not allow fear to grip your spirit. Do not allow fear to dwell in your hearts. For I will protect those that are mine. I hear the Lord say. For I will protect those that are mine. Even in these times, I hear the Lord says, instant productivity, the minute you speak it and declare it out of your mouth, it shall come to pass. Though a thousand might fall at your side, ten thousand at your right side, no evil will come to deny your dwelling place. I hear you, Lord. Father God, I cover this, your people, with the blood of your son, Yeshua. May you protect them. May you guide them. May you lead them. Those that are listening to this word and those that will listen to this, may you protect them, Father God. I cover their ears. I cover their eyes, Father God, with the blood of your son, Yeshua. 
I come against retaliation. I come against backlash right now in the name of Jesus. Every evil seed, everything that has been planted, Father God, to destroy your people, may it be uprooted now in the name of Yeshua. We call forth, Father God, your warring angels. Dispatch them to the four corners of this earth, of this earth, to uproot, Father God, everything that is not of you. Our God, every spirit that has been sent against your people, we dismantle it now in the name of Yeshua. Now, God, we ask for you to go before us, have your way, and let your will be done. Every crooked part, make it straight. We cancel the agenda, the plot, the scheme, and the plan of the enemy. Now, God, as you are, Father God, separating the wheat from the tear, may you strengthen those that are wheat. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you, we magnify you. We bless your holy name. For those that shared this broadcast, may you bless them in a special way. May you open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that they may not have room to contain. Father, I magnify you. I glorify you. I give you glory. I don't know who just said the word so, but I just heard that in my spirit. I don't ask for anything, but I just heard a woman. I heard you. I heard you just said, um, I want to sow. I heard the word so. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry, I don't ask for anything. But if you want to, because I heard it, I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. And I didn't hear a bunch of people. You may have been thinking it. I only hear one person said it. I can say, I hear everybody say, and this is what God lies. I did not hear any, I did not hear that. And I'm not going to say what God didn't tell me to say, but I hear one person said, how can I sow? How can I sow? If you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can use the PayPal. Um, it's paypal.me slash walking into destiny. I will post it in the comment section. I'm not asking anybody for anything. I come on, I do what the Lord tell me to do, and then I leave. But I hear one person. I heard this woman. I heard this woman. You're an elderly woman. 41, 40, 40, in between 41 and 45. I'm seeing you. You're sitting down at a desk. I hear you. And you say, how can I sow into this woman's life? I hear you. You're sitting down at a desk. I see you. I heard you. You can contact me if you wish to do so after this. And if you're in the Bahamas, I don't know where you are. You can use my account. And if you um, want to use PayPal, you can use PayPal. People of God, I've done what the Lord told me to do. May the Lord go with you. May the Lord grant you peace in everything that you do. And as we are living in this time, and as we are going through this epidemic, and as we are going through this pandemic, may the Lord cover you. Continue to anoint your homes. Continue to anoint your children. Those of you that have to go to, to work, like myself, I have no choice. Those of you that have to go to work, I pray that the Lord cover you. I pray that the Lord bless you. No weapon, may no weapon that form against you be able to prosper against you. No virus, no sickness, no disease. May it not come nigh you or your dwelling place. In the name of Yeshua, Father, we bless you. We glorify you. We give you honor. Hallelujah. 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 I've given you the word of the living God. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I need somebody to pray for me because I just, I'm out of it right now. I need somebody to pray for me. Blessings to all of you. I love you for watching. Those of you that have not shared the broadcast as yet, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, share the broadcast. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube page, please go ahead, please go about subscribe to the YouTube page. So much information is there. You have nothing to pay. It's just free knowledge. Go on my YouTube page, Marvel Lewis, M-A-R-V-A-L-O-U-I-S. Go on my, my um, YouTube page if you have not yet subscribed. Uh, to my page blessings to all of you and to that woman who still sitting at the desk <laughs> you know the spirit of the lord is talking to you i love all of you good day i gotta go rest up a little bit before i go to work blessing hey rosa how are you how are you blessings 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 i love all of you god's people i love you hey alice how are you blessings laverne 
Listen, if this is your first time, let me know this is your first time. Let me stay on for two minutes. Let me say hello. Let me stay on for two minutes. Let me stay on for two minutes. Somebody pray my strength. Let me stay on for two minutes. If this is your first time viewing, let me know if this is your first time viewing. Blessings, 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 Miss Kalma. Blessings. Thank you, Jacob Bean. I know you got me. I know. I know, Apostle. Blessings, blessings, blessings. If this is your first time viewing the Walking Into Destiny live broadcast, let me know. Thank you, Father. Blessings. Blessings, Lona. Alsa May. Carnetta Martin. Judy, how are you doing? Love you, Judy. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Let me put my glasses on. I try and I try to read without my glasses. First time viewer. First time viewer. Lanita, come on. Lanita Dixon. I hope. Let me say that right. Let me say that right. Come on, people of God. Let's let's uh hey Jen Prescott. I read your message this morning. I couldn't answer you. I was too sleepy. I put the phone right back down. I will get back to you. Um, Jen. Jen Prescott, I will get back to you. People of God, if y'all could do me one favor and stop sending me all these um messenger messages and, and pictures and so forth, that will be just a blessing to my spirit. So much people message me and for me to be trying to differentiate uh, um who's just sending a picture, who's just sending a good morning text, who's just... Man, listen, save room for the people who really trying to reach me, man. Y'all, please, please, please. Save room for those who really try to reach me and those who really ask in for prayers. Hey, Jeanette, how are you? Claudia, Pam, how are you, Pam? Blessings, blessings, blessings to all of you. Blessings to all of you. Blessings. Thank you for coming on in. If you have not subscribed to your YouTube page as yet, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. For those of you, uh, there's going to be um, my conference on... Uh, uh, July 11 is going to be the beautiful island of Nassau, Bahamas. Um, um, Nassau, Bahamas. Um, it's going to be July 11th. Um, the Walking Into Destiny, the Gathering Conference. Its uh, registration is going to begin at 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, we're going to have five, six dynamic speakers um, in the house. You do not do you do not want to miss it. You got to be at this conference. You have to be. At this conference is going to be in Nassau. Um, the tickets are available. Um, you can now pay at the door or you can go on Eventbrite, which I very, I, I, I encourage. Go on Eventbrite and purchase your ticket. Um, we will have t-shirts. We will have my books walking into to, 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 um, single while waiting on God. People, I'm so out of it. I got to try see if I can catch me a, a, about a 10 minute nap. And the um uh we will have your tote bags once you register. That is the reason why I wanted you to go through event um bright because once you've um my PayPal information I just posted it. I'll post it for you again, um, Miss Jones. Um uh once you register, then I know uh how much people um uh will be there. Um I will know how much people will be there and I will know um how much goodie bikes to pack um but like i said we prepare for in between 60 to 100 persons now um that's the reason why i said to purchase your tickets and when the tickets are done we are done that is about it and i know the lord is about to do uh, a great thing he's about to move in that place listen the word that god gave us today he is causing his people to gather all in one place amen and it doesn't literally mean that all of us will be in Nassau. It may be some in Washington, some in California, some in Canada, some in Europe, some in the Caribbean, all over the East Coast. Of course, his true remnant I um, um, to gather. Hey, Miss Lightburn, how are you? And so blessings to all of you. Blessings to all of you. I came in. I did what my father told me to do. And so um, I'm now at peace and I'm going to go. Blessings to all of you. I love you for watching. If you have not shared the broadcast as yet, go ahead and do that. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube page, go ahead and subscribe to it. Blessings.